We had this problem on our calculus quiz last week. A marathoner ran the 26.2 mile New York Marathon in a time of 2 hours 12 minutes. Showed that at least twice the marathoner was running at exactly 11 miles per hour. Well, there's a calculation to be made on this, and that is if we take 26.2 miles and divide that by 2 hours and 12 minutes, which converted is going to be 2.2 hours, we're going to get an average speed of 11.909 miles per hour. And so having made this calculation, uh, common sense will tell you that, well, it makes sense that the runner had to be traveling at this speed, 11 miles per hour, at least twice. It just makes sense. But the challenge we have is not to make a common sense argument so much as a, an ironclad, uh, evidence-based calculus argument. And to see what's really happening, I'm going to make a little graph on the right. And that's going to be a graph of time. And we know that the runner covered 2.2 hours. And in 2.2 hours, rather, a distance of 26.2 miles, which is a approximate marathon length. And so we can draw a little point up here that's the intersection between 26.2 miles in 2.2 hours. And if we connect from the origin straight up to this uh, point here, the finishing point, we know that the slope of this line has to equal the average rate of change is defined as the average rate of change because a distance covered over time and we know that's going to be 11.909 miles per hour but as far as what the runner actually ran well the, the actual distance versus time might look more something, something more like this than I'm putting in red here and so but we know that according to the mean value theorem, there's going to be a point here where the slope at this point is going to be exactly the same or parallel to this blue slope, the slope of the blue line. And so we would say the slope of this black line, which is the tangent line, is going to be our instantaneous rate of change. And so now we can make our argument. Since the average rate of change is 11.909 miles per hour, According to the mean value theorem, which abbreviated MVT, the runner had to be going eleven point nine oh nine miles per hour at least once. Okay, now for the second part we need to demonstrate that the runner was traveling at exactly eleven miles per hour at least twice. And for that we're going to make another graph. And this one is going to be, we're going to have on the independent variable axis, we're going to have 2.2 hours again. But this time on the vertical axis, we're going to have speed. And 
we know, according to the mean value theorem, that there was a time in this race, we don't know when, between 0 and 2.2 hours, that I'm going to represent by this point right up here. And so there we have the time that this runner, maybe it was halfway through the race, was traveling at exactly 11.909 miles per hour. And we know if we take a point between, if, if the runner starts at zero miles per hour, I'm going to mark that in red, and finishes, we presume, at zero miles per hour, up here at 11, which is between zero and 11.909, I'm going to represent by a little horizontal purple line, dashed line, that to get from zero miles per hour, we would have to go through 11 miles per hour and touch this 11.909, and, and the runner could have even gone faster than that, right? But we know it exactly touched at least once. But to get to zero miles per hour to finish, we'd have to go back down through 11 miles per hour. And so this is how we explain this. Since the runner started at zero miles per hour and finished we presume at zero miles per hour and was going at exactly, well, I'll put exactly here, 909, 11.909 miles per hour at least once according to the intermediate value theorem, the runner was going 11 miles per hour at least twice. So kind of a common sense thing right here that we use the mean value theorem and intermediate value theorem in conjunction to fully articulate and conclusively prove that yes this runner was traveling was going at exactly 11 miles per hour at least twice. I hope this has been helpful to you and thanks for viewing.